Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Rock Tio Studio and today I'm sharing with you the prompt news from hashtag Art Journal Habit 2018 which is, oh, what day is it? Oh, what day is it? I don't even know. <laughs> um, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Day 14, yeah, day 14, that's when it is. So, um, as you guys know, Art Journal Habit 2018 is a prompt list brought to you by Art Joy Sharing Facebook group. So if you haven't started yet, you can still come and join, get join the group, get the prompt list and, you know, join the party. Form an art journal habit for yourself because it's a good practice to reduce your stress, increase your creativity and generally have fun. So the prompt, like I said, is news, which... Uh, you know, I don't watch the news very much. It's normally just a bunch of sad things going on in the world, fires and killings and whatever. Uh, lately, all that was on the news uh, was, of course, pl politics. So one piece of news I found interesting was that there is a record number of women, a record-breaking number of women, who've been elected to office in the, the past primary that just happened. And also other uh, record-breaking things like the first uh, Native American women, the first Muslim women. Uh, in some state, I don't remember which one, there was the first black woman ever elected. And of course, there's a the youngest person ever elected, a woman that's 29. It's just a lot of record-breaking things happening in this last election. So I decided to make my page about that. Being fe female, I actually care that there's a lot of women in the government. I think that's a good thing. If you're a guy, you probably are like, eh, maybe not. But um, I don't know. I, I tend to stand back and watch society and find out what happens. And I think it's interesting to see uh, change that happens and try to figure out why it happened. Like, was there just more women who wanted to run or was there some sort of a reason for that? It's all, all interesting to me. So that's what I made my page about. So the background is some sort of thing that came in the mail to my mom. I don't know what it is. It was just a piece of paper that was uh, like a flag sort of, kind of a... a um, freeform sort of a flag patri patriotic type thing and then there was also this card and I cut the a star a flag star out of the card and I applied that that piece of paper to my page using some Liquitex matte gel medium pressed it down made sure there was no bubbles got it all nice and stuck and then I took some of this deli paper which looks like printed newspaper Back in the day, they used to use newspaper to wrap fish and chips and stuff like that. And they don't do that anymore because probably that ink's not good for you. But this deli paper is printed as if it's a newspaper. So I just put a couple strips of that on there so that you could tell that this page was about the news and not just a patriotic page. Then I put some watered down white gesso over the whole background to kind of calm it down and also to give some tooth to the page, some texture to the page so that I could draw and paint on top of it and dried all that up. Now I'm drawing, I'm drawing a woman in a three quarter profile. She's not the most beautiful thing, but you don't have to be <laughs> beautiful to be a woman in the government. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, her eyes are too far apart, and uh, even though I did, you know, I used the rules of drawing, I still think they're too far apart, but oh well. Just oh well. Oh, sorry about the yawning. <laughs> um, it's an art journal page. It's going in a book. Of course, all you are seeing it, but no one else will. It's just in a book, so if I don't like it, and I don't think it's the best thing ever since sliced bread, um, that's okay. And I will give the same advice to you guys. If you create a page and you don't particularly love it, 
still you did the process of creating the page and exercising your brain to think about your idea and exercising your creativity to try and create something. And if, if you don't love it, that's okay. It's okay. The stuff's not going in the museum. It's just for your own love of doing something creative. So once my drawing was complete, I was using my mechanical pencil and my white eraser. When that eraser runs out, I'm going to be sad because I'm not sure I got it. And I, I just really love that eraser. Um, I put some white gesso over the whole thing. Again, this gives it some texture for my Neocolor 2 water-soluble crayons to stick to. And in addition, it just kind of, again, pushes back those stripes. I didn't want the stripes to show through on her face. You could have the, the, the background showing through if you wanted to. That'd be fine. Lots of times I do that. But in this case, I just decided to go ahead and completely cover it. So another coat of gesso worked for that. Then I'm using my, like I said, my Neocolor 2 water-soluble crayons. I love these. You know, there's a lot of this type of product out there. There's um, distress crayons and scribble sticks. And, you know, everybody comes out with their own version of it. But these are the best ones. And if you don't believe me, I'm sorry. But they are. They're the best ones. They're creamy. They're not waxy. They um, dissolve with water really easy so you can blend them. Uh, really a great product. And they're made by Karen de Ash. Um, not sure if I say that right, but that's how it's said in American English. <laughs> and so it's, it's a European com country, blah, 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 European company. I think it might be Swiss, maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, you can buy them on Amazon and I'll link them in the description box below so you can try them out. They come in all different sets of sizes. And then some, some actual retail stores like, um, Dick Blick. If you can find one, there's only only one in the entire state of Arizona, but you might have a lot of them. They have them as individuals, so you can go and just get one. Um, no place in the city of Tucson, which has 750,000 people, is there a store that carries them as individuals. But I know that there are stores out there in the world that do. So if you run out of your apricot color or whatever, you can go get just the one. So I'm just doing a process of adding colors, blending, adding colors, blending. I'm using that little puddle of um, white gesso over there on my plate. I pick up a little bit of that and I, I let that mix in with my water from this water tank brush. This is the Arteza brand water tank brush. And then I'm just blending and blending. So I... I use the crayon direct on to the paper and then I blend it with the water brush. And I, I start with a light color, move to a little bit darker color, move to another color, continue. Uh, this is a process and it's, um, sometimes it works better than other times. I'm also using, um, what is that? That's the Stabilo All Graphite Pencil. So it's a soft leaded, highly water reactive pencil and I use that as well to kind of keep my lines going and you know I work on this quite a while I work on this process of changing and adding and altering and refining for quite some time adding different colors this time I'm adding a cool color into the shadow areas it's a lavender which kind of uh, brings out the shadow a little bit because it's cool against the warm of the other tones, which were like an apricot color and then a terracotta color and a uh, ochre color. It's, it's fun to do this. It's relaxing to do it, but it does take a little bit of time. And the, it actually turned a little bit muddy with the graphite. I wish that I hadn't used as much graphite, but oh well, it's an art journal page. You can't really tell from this distance, but when you see the close-ups at the end, you'll see that the skin turned a little bit muddy in some areas from the water-soluble graphite. 
So I am in some cases drying in between, but because this is a water soluble product, it continues to reactivate. It doesn't dry down to a permanent, it continues to activate every time I put the water on there in the water brush. So even now, after it's been dried for several hours, it would still move if I put more water on it. I'm not going to, but it would. Mixing in an acrylic paint or the gesso does help it be a little bit more permanent when it's dry. And if you were to put a lot of acrylic something in there with it, it would become a lot more permanent. But I was just using the gesso just to kind of as a highlight type stuff. I didn't really blend it in with it a lot. So that's kind of how you do it. I don't have a lot to say about it. It's just kind of something you have to watch if you want to try to learn it. Um, you have to think about color theory and think about layering on the colors and the shapes, where shadows would be, where highlights would be. Where are the lights coming from? <laughs> That's one thing that happens is, uh, you know, you'll, <laughs> you'll draw something and you'll have light coming in one way and then, then you forget which direction the light source is and you, you have a shadow on the opposite side because you forgot. So you have to continually think about those things as you're working. So now I'm working on the hair. I started with a brown, kind of a medium brown tone and blending that in, trying to leave some areas of light and then some areas of dark, trying to kind of section out the bangs because I put the, the skin color right up under there. So I need to cover the skin color up in a kind of a streaky sort of way. And refining again with the pencil. Just back and forth, back and forth. So I would be interested in hearing in the comments what you guys think about all the women that have been elected. I, I find it interesting why you think the reason is behind that. And I would be interested in hearing if you've drawn a whimsical face lately. I haven't drawn one in a while and that's the reason that I'm kind of rusty. <laughs> so going back in with the pencil, then going back again to the colors and just back and forth, back and forth. I also think her bangs are crooked now that I look at the video. It seems like they should be down lower on the other side, but then it actually makes them look like they're cut crooked. Oh well. <laughs> so sometimes when I use the color, the Neo Color 2 crayons, I need just a little bit of the color on the brush and I don't want to try to use the crayon to apply pi the pigment into a small space. So I just write the crayon onto my deli paper and pick it up with the brush. And that works too. That's another way to do it. And you could do your whole your whole project that way if you wanted to. I just find it easy to get the color on there by applying it directly to the paper. Some people never do put, apply it to the paper directly. So it's just a thing. Kind of a personal preference thing, I guess. Still thinking about where the shadows are, where the highlights are, where the light's coming from. Trying to get all those angles correct. This is a long process and I don't have a lot to say. <laughs> I know I'm going to get to some other step soon. I'm sure of it. See, when I activate that uh, graphite pencil, it gets a lot darker then when it's just applied, it really does change the tone of the graphite to have the water. And that's just a Stabilo pencil. It's, uh, you know, like the Stabilo All that everyone uses, the black and the white. Um, it just happens to be gray colored, graphite colored. Now I add some dark blue shadows to the hair 
because sometimes that's what color it seems like. A very dark blue, like navy. And it darkens it up quite a bit. I was going for dark hair, dark eyes, because um, several of the women who made history in the election are women of color, whether it's American Indian or Eastern Indian descent or Native, I already said Native, or African Americans. There was a few history making African, -Amer African Americans. So didn't want to go with the blonde haired, blue eyed person, although those people got elected too. <laughs> But the ones in the news, which this story, this page is supposed to be about the news, were the ones who uh, did something that wasn't the usual. And this is just about the only good news. There's been a lot of bad news. There's just in the last few days been some really bad things have happened. Shootings and you know, just stuff. I don't like the news. I don't like to watch it. Whenever I go downstairs and my mom has the news on, I'm just like, oh, do we have to watch that? Can't we watch the, the Food Network or HGTV or something? <laughs> Discovery Channel. Come on. Let's watch Ancient Aliens. That's what, that will be much more fun than this news. So I try to f avoid it and get most of my big news stories from my phone when I turn it on, it gives me a news feed and I, I get the big stories from that and just try to avoid the local news if I can. And I definitely avoid the big news stations like Fox and CNN because they just seem to repeat themselves. You know, they have this, have something and they say it and then 30 minutes later they're saying it again. It's like, ugh, come on guys, get something new. So finally, I'm moving on. I put the word news up at the top as if it was like a newspaper sort of a, trying to do a newspaper sort of a font. I don't know that I really <laughs> achieved that. And um, I go over that with my Pentel pocket brush pen. Um, it's nice and black and I like it. I'm obsessed with it right now. And then I write some words in my white Posca pen down the side after adding catch lights to her eyes. A lot more women in government is what it says. So I hope you guys are enjoying the hashtag Art Journal Habit 2018 series and the daily videos. If you are enjoying them, please remember to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, share if you want to, pin it if you want to, whatever you would like to do because all those things really help my channel. Helps my channel remain relevant to the YouTube algorithm that decides what gets recommended to other people. So I, I always ask you to do those things and you probably get tired of me saying it, but it does help. So here's where I couldn't fit the word government. <laughs> so I had to, to um, before it got dry, kind of rub it out with my wet paper towel and start over with smaller letters because I didn't want it to go on to her face. So that's a long word, government. And I highlight that a little bit with some blue Posca pen just to make it stand out a little bit more from the background. And that is it for this page. I think I uh, use a manganese blue ink pad around the edges and that's about it. So I will see you for tomorrow's page, which is North. That's it for me. Bye.